Hey everyone, welcome back to Mod Life Season 3, episode number 33. Picking up right where we left off last episode with some pneumatic craft. Last episode, we took eight buckets of oil, placed it inside the refinery here, and since last episode, it has finished refining all of that into some diesel, kerosene, gasoline, and LPG. Each of these fluids do something a little different depending on what we want to do with them. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool stuff. We're going to mess around with some more of this today. And uh, since last episode, I've went ahead and taken out all, all of the fuel out of these guys just because this thing was getting kind of hot <laughs> without any oil inside of it to process. And I was getting a little afraid that it might go boom. So I decided to go ahead and uh, pull out all the fuel for the time being and just kind of let it cool off. Now we need to go ahead and start worrying about extracting some of these liquids out of here. And we're going to work on that in just a minute. Let's see. Hmm. So what are we going to do? Well, first off, looks to me like one of the main things we're going to be needing a lot of is plastic. Now how do we get plastic? That's a good question. We need to use the LPG inside of the refinery here to make ourselves some plastic. That coupled with another machine, the thermopneumatic processing plant. So this is not too difficult to craft. We're just gonna need a little bit of redstone and some glass. So let's go ahead and grab that real quick, some glass. Let's just grab, I don't know, let's just do 20 of those for the time being. And we need a little bit of redstone. We'll just take, you know, blocks yeah there we go that should work so there's our glass and momentarily we should get our redstone we could have got the regular you know redstone dust but yeah block of redstone same difference we just gotta craft it down bam just like that grab ourselves a little bit of our compressed iron and we should be able to craft up this guy. we need the tubes <laughs> ah we don't have the tubes I think I placed them all down, but we can make some more up real quick. We're going to be needing them anyway. So let's go ahead and make up a couple sets. There we go. And let's now craft ourselves up the thermopneumatic processing plant. I'm actually going to go ahead and say maybe to craft three of these. Um, just because I believe we need it to... Um, if, if we want to make something out of like these different fluids... We're going to be needing this guy. So that's the reason why I went ahead and made up three of them. For now, we're only going to use one. So let's place one guy down. Let's right click on him and see what we need. It looks like we are going to need some heat. This machine requires or produces heat. Heat can be applied by placing a block that generates heat next to this machine. Think of a vortex tube, fast but requires power. But also lava, slow, and torches, very slow. To cool down a machine, remove the heat sources or speed up the process by placing down ice. Pretty cool. All right, so we can see our temperatures just normal as is. I'm assuming that's just what it is if, you know, it's daytime, I guess. <laughs> Place a torch next to it. We can see the temperature actually increasing. Interesting. That's actually pretty cool. Actually, that's going up. It says slowly, but that temperature is actually going up quickly. Can we place another torch? Another torch? <laughs> wow! That was a manly scream. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, so we can see it drastically decreasing now. But let's go ahead. Okay, hello, my friends. Out of nowhere, you appear in front of me. Why is this? It's like a sudden herd of Endermen are like passing through. Look at this. Just, just a herd of Endermen. Y'all go away. Go somewhere else. This is not a good place for you guys. Not a good time. Not 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 a good time at all. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and craft us up with some more of these vortex tubes. We are going to need some more gold. Let's do, I don't know. Let's request eight pieces of gold because we can. And I love that requesting system. It makes life so much better. All right, so let's go ahead and make up two of these for now. Should be enough. And remember last episode I said... Yeah, you have to place it towards the actual thermo pneumatic or whatever you want it to actually heat. So in this case, we do want some heat. Um, we want to probably hook him up to an air compressor. So let's grab one of these guys. And I want to try to make sure we can see about doing a better form of compressed air today. So that way we don't have to sit here and worry about using coal and all that stuff. 
for all of this junk. So this is just kind of slow and monotonous. Maybe we can work on an advanced air compressor or maybe even work our way towards the flux compressor. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, so we should be able to start seeing, yep, this guy's starting to get it a uh, little heat built up there. We could speed this up if we place the torch next to it, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so we want to go ahead and set up a tank. I think I'm just going to go ahead and use up the portable resonant tank for the time being. And we'll just place him right there. Let's grab ourselves... Hmm. We need some sort of fluid pipe. Do we want to use... Something like this, or, hmm, will break if contents are extremely hot or cold. I am completely unaware of whether or not these liquids are hot or cold. I don't know if LPG is hot or cold. <laughs> All right, well, uh, temperate, hardened, contents may be any temperature. Hardened fluid ducts require invar and hardened glass i think we can do that all right we need just a couple pieces of invar we'll go ahead and grab a few of those some hardened glass we'll grab two of those and i think a servo but i think i already have one somewhere so yep there it is right there go ahead and request all of that into our pocket here come on come on there he is and then lastly we'll just make up the hardened fluid duct just like so Set it up like this, and we'll go ahead and extract out the top with no redstone signal. We should see this coming out. How's this stuff coming out? Oh, there it is. I was going to say, <laughs> otherwise, I have no clue how that stuff gets out of there. All right, we'll place this on top of here, and if we right-click our crescent hammer, it should make its way into here. We have temperature built up. Shouldn't have to get it too hot from what I'm understanding. So... Do you actually need compressed air as well? Because I do see this. Pressure is at zero. So maybe we need another one of these guys. Let's take a look. Where do you hook up at? All right, it doesn't hook up there. Hooks up on the side. Ah, gotcha. We'll go ahead and set up our other air compressor here. Let's grab a little bit of coal out of here. Go ahead and let this start building up a little bit of pressure. The thing about this is, from what I understand, is we are going to be needing a fair bit of coal. So let's go ahead and request like four stacks of this because, well, we are going to need it to make, uh, you know, the compressed air in our air compressors. But we also need it to make plastic. So let's grab our couple stacks here. If we shift click this in, it'll go right here. Bam, like so. And as you can see, this is turning into liquid plastic so every 100 millibuckets is going to give us one bucket worth of liquid plastic pretty cool stuff now from here all we really have to do i believe is just uh give it a little bit of a weight and once we get this uh, enough of this liquid plastic i think we should be able to start converting this into actual plastic soon enough so let's see this is going to give us another 10 buckets worth, so we should have 16 buckets of liquid plastic. Now, okay, I was going to say, why is it, why did it stop? <laughs> so, plus one bucket, or, or not one bucket of coal, one piece of coal as well. So, that's pretty darn cool. Now, I'm guessing the higher the, not enough heat. Apply more heat by adding blocks to generate, okay. So, it's it's kind of there on heat, and it's kind of not. Oh, I see right there. There's the temperature. So that's just kind of what it's aiming for, and it looks like we're pretty much there. Okay. And besides that, yeah, there we go. Information. LPG and coal together in this machine can produce liquid plastic. It can also be used in fuel cracking. Heavy fuels can be cracked into lighter ones. This means diesel can be turned into kerosene, Kerosene into gasoline, and gasoline into LPG. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so now we need to go ahead and start working towards getting our plastic out of there. I'm assuming that's what we need to do. And placing it inside of this guy, the plastic mixer. So a little bit more glass and compressed iron will give us a plastic mixer. All right. 
Let's place him right here. I don't think, oh yeah, he doesn't require anything but a little bit of heat. Whole, uh-oh, is it getting dark already? Seriously, it's getting dark already? Didn't I just like sleep the other night like a minute ago? <sighs> All right, anyways, we got our liquid plastic. I was actually about to break this and pick it up, but that's probably not the best way of going about that, so. We're gonna go ahead and try to transfer the liquids out of there. We might even actually try to find a different home for it, just because right now it's like right next to it, and it's just kind of in the way. So maybe we could put it, let's put like the plastic mixer there for now. Now this isn't gonna be like the last place that it's ever gonna live, but I already made another one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's see. Let's get another one of uh, our air compressors. This is why we really need to set up a actual system inside of here, so that way we actually only have one source that's going to produce us enough compressed air so we don't have to worry about moving these and making a whole bunch of these little air compressors and all of that stuff. So there we go. We'll go ahead and let that start heating up our vortex tube. That should start heating up our plastic mixer. Let's jump over here, steal our servo. And this guy, I think we should be able to, yep, nice. I was going to say we should be able to. And hopefully, this will make its way uh, over into our plastic mixer. Boom. Do it. Ah, yeah, look at that, guys. All of that liquid plastic making its way into the plastic mixer. That looks really cool. <laughs> that looks really cool, actually. Oh, that's nice. That is really cool. So just a little bit more, and then this guy will get uh, heated up for us. Okay, I forgot to turn that one off. Should I, I probably, should I turn this one off? No, I think this one's going to be okay. I think this is going to be uh, quite all right. Um, Yeah. Yeah, that's when it happens. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't. We, we don't want that. So, all right. So this temperature needs to get up pretty warm in order for us to actually make some of this. Now we are gonna need to supply this with a few things. We need lapis, rose red, and cactus green. Another good reason to set up that cactus farm. Well, I think we did pretty good. Check it out. We're doing nice. Let's grab us a few stacks of this, and we'll toss it inside. We need to make another ender pouch. We need to make another ender pouch so that we can just like automatically cook things up. Because we already have it set up to an ender chest. Yeah, I think we should. Oh yeah, what are we gonna need? We're gonna need some leather blaze plow plowder. Blaze plowder? We need all the blaze plowder. <laughs> all right, let's grab our ender pearl. We need one of those guys. We need some, ooh, I see a little bit of an issue here. Little low on the leather side. All right, what about blaze powder? We'll just go ahead and request two of those. Wool, do we have any wool laying around? No, but we should have some string. All right, get those, those. I'm just gonna go ahead and convert these right into blaze rod, or blaze powders, just because. And then besides this, all we need is a little bit of leather. Now, I think we had some cows running around here not long ago. Mr. Cows, where you at? All right, guys, I'm gonna go do some searching around, find some cows, get some more leather going real quick, and we're gonna make the secondary ender pounce just so that way we can quickly smelt items even on the go. We'll be back real quick. All right, guys, we're back with another ender pounce. Quick shift right click on this guy, should give us quick and easy access to just take any items we want smelted, place them into the ender pouch, and momentarily smelted and put back into our system here. Really cool stuff. I thought it might be kinda nice to do that, just make life a lot easier, especially since how we already made it 10 times easier because of our entire like inventory system. <laughs> Got to love it, I like it. All right, let's go ahead and get back in here. Let's get our cactus green. We'll go ahead and request a whole stack of that. Also we need some lampus. So let's just go ahead and do another another stack of that. Don't worry about the uh, random noises in the, uh, the background there. Uh, looks to me like we're having a little bit of issue trying to get this thing warmed up. Maybe. Well, the hole is fine. But it seems to me the rest of this guy is just not getting up there 
warm enough. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this and this. Do we have any rose? Rose red. We got 42. Oops, that's way too much. <laughs> let's go ahead and do 40 for now. We're going to figure out what we're going to do to get some more of that rose red soon enough. Um, I need to maybe see. I don't want to put another one on here just because, but yeah, we'll try it in a minute. Let's go ahead and place in our rose red. Fill that up. Cactus green and lapis lazuli. So now we should be able to go ahead and click on like black and make ourselves some black plastic. Easy enough. Just click on it and one of these, well, one one bucket worth of liquid plastic is going to make us one regular piece of plastic. So we are going to not need to throw our calculators on the ground and we are going to need to get some more of this up and running. We're going to need to process some more oil. Let's go ahead and let that go ahead and start running for us. There we go. Fill that up with oil and start warming this up. There we go. And hopefully we can start working on getting ourselves another better source of hopefully air compression. So we could do liquid compressor, which does up to five bars, which is pretty much exactly what we do already. Or we can do the advanced liquid compressor, which just requires a little bit of blue plastic and this thing. But unfortunately, we can't craft that because we don't have the assembly machines. Um, I'm wanting to do this guy, obviously, because RF power, we have a plentiful amount at the moment. And that would actually do us pretty well in form of compressed air. So let's go ahead and take a look. Maybe we can find something else that we can actually make to produce us a decent amount. Maybe we could just go with some upgrades instead. So, uh, lubricant bucket. Hmm. Thermonumatic processing plant with redstone and diesel will give us lubricant. So we're gonna need some of that with some lapis and sugar to get us a speed upgrade. Now, what can we do with that? Um, can be used in most machines to upgrade the functionality of the machine. What it's gonna do is it's going to if we place this inside of our air compressors, it's going to decrease its efficiency, but increase how quickly it generates compressed air. I think that might be kind of a nice idea, even though I do want to make use of the diesel soon enough. But let's go ahead and take a look in here. We got one bucket of diesel. All right, let's grab a bucket. We should be able to... Oh, thought maybe we could just pull it out somehow. Oh, well, I guess we got to pipe it out. All right. No worries. Oh man, just breaking through the whole wall. Calm down there, drill. Got stuff to do. All right, let's place this guy there. Resonant servo. And extract. Boom, we got diesel. Nice. All right, now with this, we just need a little bit of sugar and lapis. Let's just do like a block of this. Yeah, let's do two. And a little bit of sugar. There we go, some sugar canes. Let's go ahead and grab a stack of that. Boom. Take a look in here. We got our lapis ready to go. Convert that over into regular lapis. And some sugar canes. Just taking a little bit to get here. Like I said, I need to figure that out, but I think it's just because we need some better uh, modules or something. So let's see. We got this little guy here. We're gonna need a little bit of redstone. We'll place that in there. And if we take this, Take this diesel, place it inside of here. I'm assuming if we give this a little bit of pressure. So let's pick up you. And maybe see about getting that heat going in there again. I'm guessing we can do that. Make sure we don't overdo it this time. Is it seriously getting nighttime again? Why is it getting dark so quickly? Actually, I guess I guess it's really not getting so quick, dark, and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's not really doing that. It's just losing track of time because I'm having fun. All right. We got this up and running. We got some... We need some heat. Get some heat going. Get it warmed up. Here's a torch. Seriously, you can place a torch there? Oh, you can't place torches on the hempcrete? Oh, yeah. What do you know? All right, we'll go ahead and help help warm it up a little bit there. See if we can't get this set us up into getting a speed upgrade. That'll make life a lot easier for us. How are we doing on our plastic mixer? Okay, 
pretty nice. We're at least warmed up a bit. I don't like hearing creepers inside of a base. Or even around. <laughs> you can't run. No! You stupid cre- Yeah, well, that's fine. We got battle marks all over the outside. Poisonous explosions. That's exactly what I needed. All right, nice. We can go ahead and pull this out. That way this doesn't explode on us. And we have ourselves one bucket of lubricant. So we should be able to... Do we have to, like, pump that out, too? Come on, give it to me. Give it to me! Yeah. <laughs> Drat. I was kind of hoping we didn't have to do that, but I guess we'll have to go ahead and pipe this out as well. we'll break that there. Go ahead and pick this guy up. I really need to make some more servos. I think I'll probably do that in a little bit so that we don't have to keep remaking or keep using other ones everywhere. Uh, let's see. Tank. All right, let's grab a little bit of copper. We're going to go ahead and make another just quick tank. So we got that. Bam. We already got the glass we need. So there we go. And easily enough, we'll just do this. And we have ourselves one bucket of lubricant. Now we should be able to easily make ourselves our speed upgrade. I think these go in the corners. I think it just doesn't like to shift click in there. But there we have it. Our very first speed upgrade. Let's see how well this actually works in here. Is this going to actually increase? I think it is. It, yeah, slowly but surely it's actually increasing, it looks like. Awesome, which means a little bit more heat's going to be coming out of this, so that means we should have more heat inside of that. Now, instead, I'm going to go hook this up over there on our refinery. So that way this can go ahead and start refining all of our fuel for us. And we may go ahead and try to make another one of these speed upgrades if we possibly can next. Oops. Break that. <laughs> Whoopsie. All right, so this is going to start uh, eating up the coal a lot quicker because of the um, speed upgrade there. It'll say right here, max of 10. Oh, cool. The air compressor will produce more compressed air per tick. However, this is at the expense of the efficiency. So it is going to go a little bit faster, which is not a bad thing. It's pretty cool. And this guy, I guess, can we put torches next to it too? Hey, well... If it speeds up the process, then why not? I'm cool with that. Nice. All right, well, I, get, I really, really want to get us going on a better compressor or something to generate us better compressed air than what we currently have. Um, this looks really cool, but it does require, you know, a decent amount of other things as well. Uh, gray plastic. Actually, it's not that bad, honestly. So, when the machine gets hit by lightning, it produces a lot compressed I'm guessing I'm guessing that's 200,000 milliliters of compressed air <laughs> um, yeah so we got mm, guys I'm gonna go ahead and do a little looking around real quick let me see if I can't get us up and running with another form of compressed air better than this little fella right here he does his job but we need to do it better we'll be back in just a second all right, guys, and we're back after a little bit of crafting. I just went ahead and made some more of the regular air compressors we have been using and trying to make things look a little bit nicer. So I got all of our heat sink set up, some vortex tubes going on our side of our refinery here, and it's doing a pretty decent job. Thus far, uh, we got some more diesel coming in, more kerosene, gasoline, and LPG. Now, from what I'm looking at, it looks like we're going to be needing quite a few other things before we can start making um, certain other compressors. Now, we can go ahead and actually craft up the liquid compressor. I actually don't know how well it, it works, but let's find out. All we need is a bucket. We're going to need a couple pieces of leather, and I should be able to shift click. There we go. Liquid compressor. All right, so where do I want to try this out at? Let's go ahead and just pop him here for now. He should connect up. Cool, looking good. And I'm guessing all we got to do is just get us a bucket of something. Uh, how about just a bucket, period? <laughs> do I even have another bucket? Oh, we do, nice. Let's go ahead and request that into our pouch. Come on, up oh, there he is. And should I try diesel? I'm assuming diesel's pretty good. 
That or gasoline. Let's go ahead and pick up some gasoline. All right, so... Drat. I was actually going to make up some more of the um <laughs> tanks. Let me go ahead and grab, like, 20 of these. And what about some copper? Copper, 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 copper. Where's my copper? Where's the coppers at? Oh, there they are. Gonna request a little bit of those. Come on. There they are. All right, nice. We're gonna just make up a few different tanks because I want to be able to kind of sort these uh, fluids a little differently um, because I want to be using them for different things. So let's go ahead and just do something like this. I'm gonna pick up the diesel and we're gonna drain it inside of this one. There we go. So that way we got our resonant back. We don't have to worry about that. And we should be able to just do something like this. Oh, drat. Need another one. Hmm. Fine, I'll make some more real quick. We need Invar. Let's do four. And hardened glass. Two. I love how easy this is, though. Like, seriously, this is just wonderful. <laughs> oh, man. Teddy told me about it. I'm glad I listened to him. All right, so we got all of that set up. We can go ahead and set up some of these, two. I went ahead and made up some more of these servos here. We'll just ignore, and... Wonderful. You know what? That's okay. That That is quite all right. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and place one back down. We could set up a filter, though, so that way we don't have to worry about it. Uh, doing exactly what it just did. And just kind of let it do its draining thing there. Okay. Anyways, we got one full, and that's pretty crazy. And that's fine, actually. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up, and we're going to place him right on top. Let's go ahead and right-click him. And this is going to go ahead and start letting this guy work, I'm assuming. Is he actually generating pressure? Hmm. Available fuels. Okay, here we go. Liquid per buckle. Uh, gasoline, 1,500. LPG is 1,800, so that's pretty good. And then we go all the way down to, like, hardly anything. So, like, lava, blazing pyrothium. Apparently, gasoline's pretty high up there, so that's a good thing. I'm assuming that's going to allow us to start maybe doing a little bit better on certain things? That would not be bad, actually, if this works. I, I guess, hold on, how, how much is this using? Um, oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's going to last us quite a while, actually. I think, yeah, quite a while. All right, so I think we should probably go ahead and pick these guys up for now. The torches do help. In fact, I checked, and the funny thing is, if you place a bucket of lava right next to the refinery, this thing goes sky high. Now, unfortunately, it just demolished my lava for some reason. And, yeah, I, I guess it just kind of, like, cooled it off enough to where it just obsidianized my lava. So, just want to give you guys fair warning on that one. All right, let's see. Let's do this. Oh, I did the thing again. You know what? Let's make up some filters. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's make up some filters. Let's do it. Filters. Do we have any? Actually, we already have some. Give me all four of them. That's exactly how many I need. Do, 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 oh, there we go. And all we should have to do is just put these guys on here like so. Grab ourselves a bucket. And on this guy, I should be able to just do this and whitelist. There we go. Done and done. All right, but problem is, obviously, we have more in there than what we actually can hold. So we do need to upgrade this guy. We probably need to go and grab some Invar. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, let's just do two sets of those. And then Hardened. We'll go ahead and do Request. Request. And we should have 16 and another 8. There we go. Nice. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade this little fella real quick. Just place him inside of here with a little bit of an upgrade. A bam. 
We have a hardened portable tank. Get rid of that. And we'll go ahead and give them one more upgrade to the reinforced version. So 128 buckets worth of fuel. And you are whitelisted to the fuel bucket. So all right, let's go ahead and pull out this guy and this guy. And this guy. Actually, hold on a minute. We should just be able to do this. Doop. And doop. Right click this. And that should make its way in there. There we go. Oh, seriously, is it getting dark already? Oh, man. It's fine. Let's just do this. Let's get it going. I'm going to right click that just so that way it doesn't attach. And we'll set up another servo right there to ignore. And that should go ahead and fill up our diesel. Well, that's filling up and finishing. Let's go ahead and sleep through the night one last time for today. And finish separating our liquids. And that way we can just let it run into its thing. Because next episode, I got some other plans for us to start taking off with. Especially seeing how now we have some new fuels that we can go through. And this is actually doing a really nice job. We have to make some more of those. Alright, so we got... The diesel coming in here. Okay. So let's grab a bucket of this. And we'll set this into here with a white list. Okay. Pick up our two other little friends here. And then lastly, we'll put that guy back in there. Let's set up our next one. Fortunately, I can see this being an issue. Eh, we'll fix it in a minute. <laughs> I know I know how I'm going to fix it. Trust me. I, I, I can see what I'm going to do. All right, we're going to set that there. And let's go ahead and give him a brand new home. Now, this guy is going to require an upgrade. In fact, let's go ahead and upgrade our last couple tanks here. This guy and this guy. And let's go ahead and pick up this little guy while that's just filled up. And we'll go ahead and give him a quick upgrade. And then upgrade the last few. There we go. One, two, and finally the third one. All right. So we got diesel going in there. Actually, what? Oh, man. You know what? Fine. Whatever. Diesel. And is that filling up? Come on. Okay. No, that's not filling up because that's in there. Okay. <laughs> Derp. All right. Let's do this and whitelist. There we go. Now we should be filling up in there. Awesome. And then lastly, we got the LPG. So we do need to put that in a place to call home. Let's whitelist on here. Place this guy down. And if we can set up our last servo to ignore. That looks broken. <laughs> we should be able to just go ahead and blacklist on this guy. Something weird just happened. Oh, I bet it's because LPG is probably too hot for this. So it's like messed up. Ew. Well, that's good to know. Not duck. Ducked. Gosh, Bentley. Jeez. Flux plated. Transfer rate varies. That, that's actually RF and liquids, which is kind of cool. Hardened. Flux plated. Hmm. Transfer rate varies by fluid. Contents may be any temperature. Actually, well, that's the version we're using. So I'm not sure why it's doing that. That's kind of strange. Looks like we can actually get these all connected up again. Let's go ahead and pick up that guy. We don't need him anymore. Connect up here, here, and there. Okay. All right, well, it's working now. That's all that matters. And it's set up to a blacklist. Why are you not strange? It's not going in this guy. I need a bucket of you, my friend. Go in there. Why is it not going in there? This is very weird. Oh wait, that's diesel. Oh, well that would make sense. <laughs> That would make a lot of sense. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and pick up our diesel. Let's do this and this. That'll drain that thing into there. This is going to give us the LPG in there. Nice. Put that guy back there. We can grab our bucket, get a bucket of LPG, do this and that, and now we're good. Okay. 
Enough derping around for today. <laughs> we should be good to go, guys. So that's gonna finish filling up, and as you can see, when it's available in um, the pipes, and it, there's like nothing in there, so that way it can actually transfer something through, it'll go ahead and fill up the corresponding um, tank, which is really nice. Look at that, guys. And this gasoline's gonna last us a good long while, it seems like. Just gotta keep the, uh, the fuel going in here. In the meantime, I'm just gonna let this run, do its thing, let it process and refine because we need a good amount of LPG so we can get started with some plastic. But next episode, we're gonna delve into something a little different because we need more power. And this was all a prequel for us to get a little bit more power. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comments section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.